little more seriously, I guess, on uh, Daryl Issa uh, has peanut David Simons to appear. Yeah, I'm not, sure, more I'm not sure that's very serious, but... Um, <laughs> but I'm wondering if you guys are planning to both comply with the subpoena and if you guys have taken any steps. Uh, he's been really kind of hammering you for a few months on reopening the political office. Yeah. And the possibility of Hatch Act violations which happened during the Bush administration. Um, so if you guys have taken any steps since reopening the political office to prevent those sorts of things from happening. Well, Justin, I can tell you that, uh, as you know, based on the frequency of conversations that we've had about this topic uh, here and in other places, that we've been pretty forthcoming in describing the role of the Office of Political Strategy and Outreach. Uh, in responding to questions from reporters and from Congress, uh, we've explained that the office operates in full compliance with the Hatch Act. Uh, and to date, there's not even any suggestion or let alone evidence uh, that we've deviated from the requirements of the Hatch Act. Uh, in fact, the Office of Special Counsel uh, recognized in its 2011 report uh, the propriety of having an office in the White House to provide the President with information about the current political environment and political issues nationwide. So I'd encourage you to check out that uh, report uh, if you're as interested in this topic as Daryl Issa apparently is. Um, you know, we have provided substantial information to Congress and we're going we're to continue to cooperate uh, with Congress to demonstrate uh, our continued compliance with the Hatch Act. Uh, you know, and the fact is that um, you know, there's not really a, uh, uh, any evidence to indicate that there's a reason for uh, Mr. Seamus to appear before Congress. Uh, but you know, for years, there have been uh, efforts between members of Congress and the White House uh, to resolve these kinds of differences and uh, to allow the legislative branch to perform the necessary function of oversight. So we're going to continue our, uh, our dialogue with Congress and do our best to make sure that they're getting the kind of information and answers uh, that, they, that they need when it comes to this matter. But again, I just want to remind uh, you and everyone else who's covering this that there's not even a shred of evidence uh, to indicate um, any cause for concern. So you don't plan to send them 